This is the BatteryStuff.com Battery Bank Tutorial. What is a bank of batteries? No, it's not some kind of financial battery establishment. A battery bank is the result of joining two or more batteries together for a single application. What does this accomplish? Well, by connecting batteries, you can increase the voltage or amperage, or both. When you need more power, instead of getting yourself a massive super tanker of a battery, you can construct a battery bank. The first thing you need to know is that there are two ways to successfully connect two or more batteries. The first is series and the second is parallel. Let's start with series. To connect batteries in a series, use a jumper wire to connect the negative terminal of the first battery to the positive terminal of the second battery. Use another set of cables to connect the open positive and negative terminals to your application. Never cross the remaining open and positive terminals with each other, as this will short circuit the batteries and cause damage or injury. Series adds the voltage of the two batteries, but keeps the same amperage rating, also known as amp hours. For example, let's say that each of these batteries produces 6 volts and have 10 amp hours. When joined in series, they now produce 12 volts, but they still have a total capacity of 10 amps. It is best to be sure the batteries you're connecting have the same voltage and capacity rating. Otherwise, you may end up with charging problems and shortening battery life. Remember, amp hours refers to the electric charge transferred by a steady current of one amper for one hour. Amp hours represent the flow of electricity. Voltage represents the pressure of electricity. Some applications require more pressure, meaning higher voltage. The other type of connection is parallel. To join batteries in parallel, use a set of cables to connect both the positive terminals and another set of cables to connect both the negative terminals of both batteries to each other, negative to negative and positive to positive. You then connect your load to one of the batteries, but both drain equally. Parallel connections will increase your current rating, but the voltage will stay the same. Now we're back to 6 volts, but the amps have increased to 20. It's important to note that because the amperage of the batteries increased, you may need a heavier duty cable to avoid the cables burning out. It is also possible to connect batteries in what is called a series parallel configuration. This is the way you can increase your voltage output and current rating. To do this successfully, you need at least four batteries. If you have two sets of batteries already connected in parallel, you can then join them together to form a series. By doing so, we will have a bank that produces 12 volts and has 20 amp hours. Only one cable is needed, a bridge between a positive terminal from one parallel bank to the negative terminal in the other parallel bank. Don't get lost now. Remember, electricity flows through a parallel connection just the same as it does in a single battery. It can't tell the difference. Therefore, you can connect two parallel connections in a series as you would two batteries. It's all right if a terminal has more than one cable connected to it. It's necessary to successfully construct these kind of battery banks. In theory, you can connect as many batteries together as you want. But when you start to construct a tangled mess of batteries and cables, it can be very confusing, and confusion can be dangerous. Keep in mind the requirements for your application, and stick to them. Also, use batteries of the same capabilities. Avoid mixing and matching battery sizes wherever possible. Always remember to be safe and keep track of your connections. And if it helps, make a diagram of your battery banks before attempting to construct them. And this concludes our battery bank series and parallel tutorial. Thanks for watching.